Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to flip with 100 mil with real-time prices before we dive too far into it I do recommend having at least 100 mil if you do want to actively flip these days and make a profit Anyway, if you have that requirement, you're all set. If you are still trying to get to a 100 mil stack, I recommend you go check out some of my other videos. We do have a guide on how to do this with 50 mil, although it is not as efficient as it would be with 100 mil. The number one thing I always recommend in these flipping guides is to first have an item list before you start your session. If you need some ideas on what items to flip with your cash stack, be sure to check the link in the description below for our Discord group. We have a massive list of items in there that you can leverage to actually be more efficient while you're flipping. Like I talked about in the 50 mil flipping guide, my flipping style is a little bit older, so I do typically do manual margin checks for all of the high volume items that I will be flipping. If it's not a high volume item, I just use prices off the wiki, but for high volume stuff, I think it is the best move to manually check these prices. I went ahead and listed a few of our first items here. We're going to let them sit for a while, very similar to the 50 mil guide. I'm going to monitor them the exact same way, and I do have GE tracker pulled up on another monitor and I'm actually monitoring the live prices on the site as well just to make sure there's no drastic movements but for now we're looking pretty good. You can see that as I'm listing my items I'm trying to spread my cash stack out across as many different high volume items here as I can. I might go into some lower volume stuff to try to hit some good margins. Typically I like to flip barrows with a 100 mil cash stack, pretty good volume and the margins can tend to be pretty good and they're not as competitive of items as some things like the toxic blowpipe or some of the bandos pieces as well. Everything seems to be moving right now a little bit slower than I would have liked but I am happy with it so just keeping a close eye and monitoring everything as we go forward here. I think since real time prices came out a lot of people think that they have to rotate away from high volume because it's too competitive and they try to get things that are more gear related items that have less volume but that's not really the case because a lot of these gear related items things like the toxic blowpipe, bandos tassis and the chest plates, the hostas, the zamorakian spear as well, dexterous prayer scroll, these are all great items to flip but they also are very competitive and if you have a lot of people flipping a medium volume item that's going to make it a lot harder for you to flip whereas if you have a high volume item that has a ton of trade activity even if there is a lot of competition it's going to be a little bit better for you as the competition will kind of be dispersed out a little bit you can see here that i'm constantly adjusting my prices on things just to remain competitive on all my listings Flipping has gotten so much more competitive since real-time prices came out, so if you are active flipping, you really have to be on top of your stuff, and that goes for all cash stacks, right? Flipping with max cash, you have to do that, and flipping with 100 mil, you especially have to do that. The competition is way higher than it used to be finished our first flip of the session which was the air orbs we actually didn't make like any money on those 30k total which is very bad I was hoping for a lot more on those but we're gonna rotate into purple sweets next i do feel like these will have a decent margin these t they kind of take a while to trade the purple sweets but they typically hold their margins pretty well Finally, we got that green dragon leather off. I've been trying to get that off because it just hasn't been selling. In a similar situation on the mana rays, they're taking a little bit longer than I would have liked. Although, a lot of our other items look pretty decent right now. The purple sweets, we are currently on a decent buy offer for those. They're filling in pretty quickly, for purple sweets that is. But these Zolandra teleports haven't really been filling. The margin on those is pretty good though. Uh, it's going to take a while to flip those, so I'm not super sure if we're going to leave that for too long, considering we've already been waiting about four minutes for those to come through anyway things are looking decent right now we haven't made a ton of profit yet we're about 15 minutes into the session but things are looking promising and i'm gonna keep my hopes up hey if you are finding value from this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more money making and flipping tips anyway back to the video Looking so far so good on this session, currently we've made the most off the Blighted Super Restores which we're about 160k in profit on, we're about 25 minutes into the session now, just starting to hit the groove a little bit as far as our flips go, we have a lot of profitable stuff that's just taking a little bit longer than I'd like, the Purple Sweets, the Magic Seeds especially, and the Grimy Renar all have great margins but they're going to take a little bit longer to sell. Update on this session, things are still moving, although a lot of slowdown here. 
The purple suites currently showing uh, a very small margin on the wiki, so I don't want to just sell them for nothing. I'm going to try to wait it out and see if we can profit. Also, the magic seeds, there's not a lot of sell action on those as well. I did manually check the selling price for those, and we're actually still listed at the most competitive price, which is a little bit shocking to me, but we're still on margin for that. I guess the volume on them is just not looking super high today, so we're going to play it out very patiently. Anyway, things are still looking okay, still confident in the session. We're about 32 minutes in currently, halfway point. If you are new to flipping, then you probably will be starting with active flipping, but personally, I don't really recommend active flipping that much anymore. I think you can make a lot more money just doing passive flips or flips over a slightly longer time frame, say a one to two hour time frame. We're going to have plenty of guides coming out on that as well, but flipping actively has just gotten so competitive that you really have to work hard to get a small profit, and unless you're working with max cash basically, it's not the most efficient thing you can do a lot of the times pvm activities will rival flipping profits uh, from an active standpoint but don't let that discourage you if you love active flipping like i do then definitely get back out there and try some active flips you can still make money it's just you really have to grind Another pro tip that I wanted to give is if you're not right on top of the active margin at all times, you shouldn't always stress about that. Sometimes it's even if you're not right on margin, things will swing in your direction as long as you wait it out. And that's honestly what I do a lot in my active sessions now, is I just give it a little bit of patience and most of the time stuff will fill. For example, the Superior Dragon Bones filled, the Ranar Weed filled, and I'm actually waiting for the Purple Sweets and the Magic Seeds to do the same exact thing. So sometimes a little bit of patience will actually go a long way. I just found like a very odd situation on the Runite Bolts this past couple of minutes here. They're like buying around 150 and it keeps spiking up to like 200. So I'm trying to pick up a massive quantity of them for a cheap price, but I'm not sure we're going to get a complete fill on that. Most likely a partial fill. Besides that, I've been rotating through a ton of items, just trying to find something that's going to make us some profit here. We're about 45 minutes in right now and we're still not having any luck on the magic seeds. I lowered the price on these to try to get them off before the end of the video. I might do the same for the purple sweets. I just want to try to secure that profit before the end, even if we have to make a little bit less from those. It's just not great to have a lot of money locked up in an item that's going to take a long time during an active session. Really, if you are flipping actively with real-time prices, you need to cycle through stuff at a decent pace. Otherwise, you might as well just flip a longer time frame like one to two hours. It's just a lot easier. Unfortunately, we're having a very stale ending to our session, but that is okay. I think I'm going to leave these items to sell for a few hours and then come back and check on the profits. But we did get the burnt pages off, which is nice. I'm not going to list anything else. I'm just going to let this stuff buy for the next couple of minutes. We have about five minutes left on the clock. I'll list it back and then I'll leave it to sell for a while. Okay, we listed everything on a sell offer here. We're just going to let this sit for a while. We'll come back to it and see what kind of profit we've made. We are back. I let these flips sit for about a day and we're going to go collect it. Everything did sell at its original price and it looks like we've made about 1.4 mil in total profit. That wraps it up for this video, guys. In this episode, we made 1.392 million GP on the exchange with a 100 mil starting stack. So 1.392 mil an hour, not terrible, but not amazing. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.